Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today I have exciting news for you all. As you may or may not be aware, we are going to be entering a new arc of fairy tale. Um, I believe it's called the Daphine Def arc. Now, a lot of you have messaged me and you have all very much prepared me for this arc by telling me it is not a fan favorite. It is in regards to one of people's worst, most disliked arcs of the entire fairy tale like episodes. So because of that, I have decided that every week that we are on this arc, I will be doing two episodes per reaction. That way we can just kind of knock this out, get it done a bit quicker, um, kind of get it mostly done throughout October. So we will not stay in this arc for super long. Um, again, we will be watching two episodes today, uh, episode 69, <laughs> episode 70. So I'm interested to see what this arc is about since so many people have told me they don't like it. And if you like it, that is so good for you. I have no idea what this arc is. I have no idea. I have just been messaged so much about this arc and told to either just skip it, watch it on my own, or to get through it as quickly as possible. So I want to see what is going on so we can talk about it, understand it. I want to watch the show with you all. So we are doing two episodes, keep that in mind, um, which also means that there'll be two episodes posted over on Patreon as well, episodes 71 and 72. So if you want to get through this arc a little bit faster as well, you can go over to my Patreon as well and check out my full reactions over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Ooh, Hades stuff. Master Hades, I'm sorry to disturb you, my lord. The Arashion safes have fallen and Nirvana was destroyed by the official guilds. Our objective remains unhindered. Yes, sir. It won't be long before we possess the keys to Seraph's seal. Nirvana's destruction may serve as the herald of an even greater disturbance, but it will render our goals unreachable if left unchecked. You aren't afraid, are you? I'm looking forward to it. No, wait, come back! I was so invested! It's like to sail the seas without puking your brains out. Why is he okay? The trance spell doesn't last forever! Oh... Uh... No! Thank cast you. that spell again! It only works a couple of times! Guess it's back to bark. Oh. When you and Wendy join Fairy Tale, I'll show you all the snuggling spots perfect for kids. Ah! Oh my god, happy! Oh! Happy is smooth enough for two. Oh! A smooth criminal. It's finally time to return home. Mm -hmm. Be sure to come visit us whenever you feel like it. When you do, be ready for the best night Blue Pegasus can offer. Well, aren't you running off with your little friends? Yeah, and just so you know, I'm not gonna miss you. Sherry, friend! They're so in love! Oh my god, they're actually like a little thing! Oh my god, I love that! Uh, I got yeah. three new celestial keys! Angel's locked out, so now contracts with her are null and void! Oh wow! We've all decided oh, wow. that the to take over our contract would be none other than you, Lucy! Oh my gosh, Lucy! So you really want to form contracts with me? Are you guys sure about this? Oh, Loki's gonna have Ares back! Yeah! I think of my spirits as equals. You're no different to me than my guildmates. You're like family. It would be a pleasure to work with you, Lucy. Me! I hope we're together for a long time. Oh, I can't wait to see Ares and Loki together! That's so freaking cute! Wendy and Carla are Fairy Tale's newest members, so you better treat them well. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Oh. Great work, Ursa. I'm sure things will quiet down now that the Orashion Seis are out of the picture. Girl, it's been too long! You're telling me! No, I love Levy! She's so freaking cute! Tell me we get more of Levy in some arc. I love Levy so much. She's so freaking cute. I want her to be my best friend. I... Oh my god, I've missed Juvia so much. Oh my god, I completely... I forgot about Juvia. I missed her. Welcome to Fairy Tale, you two. I'm Mirajane. First I met Ursa, now Miss Mirajane. I'm guessing oh. your feline friend uses the same magic as Happy. 
you mind telling us what type of magic you use? Wait a minute, don't you dare compare me to that furry horn dog! Horn dog! Oh my god! Carla! I'm a sky dragon slayer. <laughs> Did I do something wrong already? Three. Welcome to the family. Happy to have you aboard. Oh, oh her little looks so cute. <laughs> it's not fair. Seriously. Oh. I mean, I'm a dragon slayer too. When do I get my fun in? I miss being at the guild. It's a good time. Keep your guard up, Chong. Ah! Get away! We're having good times! Get! 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 I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with him. After the whole Jalal arc, I don't want, I don't want to even look at Miss again right now. Oh, wait, but we have Wendy. Wait, I take it back. I take it back. We have Wendy. No, 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 come back. No, shit. Miss again, come back. I forgot we have Wendy. Since you're just starting out, it might be best to assist another team with one of their jobs. You'll take a pay cut, of course, but the experience is well worth it. Sounds like a lot of fun. I admire your enthusiasm, but take a look at your potential partners. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. I think it'd be best for her to tag along on someone else's job and get some experience. Good plan. I mean, Lulu here got her start in fairy tale by helping Natsu, right? <laughs> and it's led me into more horrifying and deadly situations than any girl should have to endure. She's not wrong. Since the two of you are here, is there any work that you need help with? Girls? We can Girl release that kind of attitude in Shadow Gear. You worked with us before, so why not stick around? Uh, somehow oh. I think sticking with your little gang might be bad for her health. That's fair, actually, though. I work with both teams. Good idea. So, which team gets you first? Go with Levy! You're not Sue. So. Hmm? Yeah, what is it? Where you been hiding, man? You seem rather troubled. Happening? When I was on my way here, I heard something crazy. The rumor mill's running pretty hardcore around town. Apparently, there's been a dragon sighting. Oh. You've got my attention. Was it Igneal? I didn't hear any names specifically. Did you at least talk to the guy who said he saw this dragon? No. Like I said, it's just a rumor I heard. It's some woman named Daphne who says there's more to the story. Daphne. She says she actually spoke with the dragon. Like in person? Don't know, but it's worth checking out. Don't you think? Yeah. Go to the Rise Lodge. It's in the western wasteland. Let's go, Happy. Hi, sir. Hmm. Mind if I come? I just want to see if it's Green Dina. <laughs> sure, the more the merrier. Aww. Yeah, like I'd want to do that. Aww. I know you're as curious as we are. Listen to yourself for two seconds. You hear dragon and you're off on a wild goose chase. It's pointless to get your hopes up. I learned that a long time ago. It's the hope that killed you. Aww. What if it was Metallicana? Would you still just sit here? No, I'd go punch him in the face. <laughs> I don't get why you care about someone who abandoned you. I bet if it really was Metallicana, he'd go running to him in tears. Don't let him oh. hear you say that. Oh my god, I love Lucy and Levy. I just want to be next to them, gossiping, talking shit with those two girls. They are like, yes, queen. Thanks for the tip, man. I guess you really are useful for something. My pleasure. I feel like Grey was taken over. That didn't feel natural. I felt like something was wrong with yeah something's wrong with him he was like possessed or something something weird's going on with gray fell off who are you i'd like to order this one i must say you're one of my most loyal and frequent customers <laughs> i oh. buy one each time we recruit new members oh you've recruited 50 new members only two actually the rest are for me uh damn urza what is going on this episode? <laughs> oh. Oh, he's got like a monster feet. Okay, I'm really interested. I don't sense it anymore. What was that? I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna keep going on, I guess. Kind of That's fine. Place, huh? Not to mention run down. 
It doesn't look like anyone's around. I think that's by design. This place is run automatically by a lacuna lodging system. <laughs> Blessed with beauty and praise to boot! Oh. Next time I see Gray, I'll punch him in the nose. There are plenty of rooms to check. If the lodge is automatic, Daphne might be staying in one of them. Let's split up and start knocking on all the doors. Sorry to disturb you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Carla! You saw nothing. Whatever you say, baby. <laughs> Happy! Guess that means this is the last one. Which is so not suspicious in any way. I mean, come on, is that a giant happy doll? Oh, yeah. Open up! We need to talk with her now! My, my. Oh. You certainly are a nice fun changer. We heard you might be able to help us. Oh, yes, yes, indeed! But no further stranger, your search parade is over! We're coming down and our ladies are burning! Yes, 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 Oh. Well, aren't you a treat for sore eyes there, Daphne? It's nice to meet ya! I'm a missionary of beauty who travels the land dating folks just like you! You don't, honey. Buy into this? If you're still not convinced this is right for you, listen to real testimonials from real customers. Ten days later, and I am slamming my horns. Stop that talking. That's right for me. Stop talking. <laughs> you interested in signing up for the I beat obesity uh, newsletter? No, no, I'm not interested in your dumb letters, your obesity, or your fishy diet kebab. I'm oh only goodness. interested in dragons. Yes, yes, everyone has a preference. You won't find yours in here. I'm a dragon slayer from Fairy Tale. I've been searching for a dragon named Igniel who disappeared. We heard a rumor that you recently met one. That's the only reason we're here, all right? Wait, if she met one, was there a dragon trying to lose weight or something? What was going on with that? Strange that he would attack then retreat. He was letting me know that he's out there and can attack us whenever he chooses. There was something odd about him. The only way I can put it is that he smelled wrong. More like a wild animal. Even it, the way he breathed was enough. Claw feet and I think it had a tail. I'm sure we'll see him again. Are we to just sit back and do nothing then? That's exactly what we'll do for now. That should provoke him into revealing himself sooner rather than later. Not the worst idea. I'm so sorry, honey. You just got him back too. Yes, yes. I did say that I met with a dragon, but that was just a fib for marketing. Matamba Chan works so well because of the primary ingredient, which happens to be powdered dragon scales. Dragon scales? Yes, oh. yes, indeed. Of course, that's a lie, too. Those are impossible to obtain. So a girl's got to make a living somehow. I'm sure Really just knows. giving everybody information right now. Oh. You gotta be me. You're all mine now. Birds in a cage. We'll see about oh. that. I am back! Ooh, not good, not good. You're really a wizard, aren't you? <laughs> yes, yes. If anything, you live up to your reputation. Uh-oh. Good things really do come to those who wait. This was just a setup. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what it is. The shots that was standing here. Oh, no, no. oh, that's unfortunate. My magic is quite splendid. So, are you, do you want to eat these two? Turn them into your matama chain. Oh. What the? How's the floor feel? <laughs> How were you able to get past that magic wall? Good question. Sorry, that was just like a sick insult. <laughs> you did just what we wanted. Yes, 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 they did. I'm so glad you could make it. My beloved Gray. <laughs> you know her? I think they're in love. You're really slumming it if you're with this chick. If you didn't think this was gonna happen one day, you're even dumber than I thought. What was that? It's time for you and me to settle this little rivalry. Now, I'll follow my own path. Oh. I'm through with fairy tale, and I'm through with all of you. Okay then. My darling Ice Cube really knows how to warm me up. My darling Ice Cube. You don't want to do this, Gray. If you really believe that, stay there. It'll be much easier. To end you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, first off, Gaggio wanting his own little flying cat was so cute. I like Gaggio. I know there was like a second that I got scared that he was like going to hurt Fairy Tail, 
But then we found out he's actually helping Fairy Tail, so it's okay. It's all good. But oh my god, I love Godjill. Godjill's character is so freaking cute. Like, oh my god, his little squidgy wah! And then him being like, oh, uh, when do I get my flying cat? Like, oh my god my heart and i also just like ship him so much with levy too who i also love who i was so glad that she was in this episode like a little teeny tiny bit i love i love 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 levy and i love levy with gajiel i hope they like have more interactions in the future and we can maybe ship them more regardless i love levy Levy is just like such a girl's girl and I love that like she is literally the person that like I feel like you could like give her fan fiction you're like I need someone else to read this fan fiction she'd be like oh, girl I've already read it like oh my god let's talk about it and you just sit there with her for hours and you just like giggle back and forth like oh! <laughs> like a lot of like squealing in not a weird way just to, like <laughs> You know, the like really excited way. That is Levy. That is a girl's girl. And I love that for her. <laughs> so anytime Levy is around, I am just like so happy. She's just literally the cutest and just such like such best friend material. Like everything about her. So anytime I see her and Lucy, I just I love them because like they're just they hug and they're like, oh, it's so happy to see you. <laughs> Like that is the vibe of my friendship with most of my girlfriends. <laughs> it's just like, ah! the scream. Like when you like those high school girls that like they would like suddenly see their best friend and it's only been maybe an hour and you're just like, ah, bestie! Like that, that's me. I was that girl. And you know, honestly, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I was happy to see my friends. But okay, so this is already off to an interesting start so we kind of have the main plot i think of um natsu and wendy carla and happy going to see Daph daphne and she is a wizard who seems to have control over gray or can puppeteer him somehow maybe he took a bite of the food and got like all messed up and under her control that's my initial thought of what's going on i'm not sure why she's trying to lure these people exactly probably just to lure more people to her i'm not sure what the end goal is besides trying to sell the stuff but that's going on it's a little weird and then we have the urza side plot that somebody like jumped her looked like a lizard man of sorts he had like claw feet and it looked like a little tail uh who could also requip which is interesting so i'm curious to see more about that and what is going on with urza not entirely sure we did see altir they're still doing their nefarious deeds. Uh, good for them, I guess. Glad they're doing well. We did see Mistigan for like a hot second. Mistigan did not say anything, but Mistigan now sees that Wendy is down there. In some capacity, he did see Wendy, which is interesting. And I stupidly, not like I actually made him go away, but I literally was like, I want to deal with this man. And then literally only thinking of myself, I was like, oh, but Wendy's here. Like, I want to know like what Mistigan, like who this Mistigan is, what he has going on with his life, why he had to leave Wendy. What is he doing? Um, and why he looks like Jalal and like why they look like twinsies. Super weird. So, um, I'm a little bit sad that it seems like we're not going to get that for a bit. But I will be curious to see once we do. I feel like he has a lot of explaining to do to Wendy. Granted, I feel like he probably wants to let Wendy grow on her own still and be independent, especially because this right now is the first time that she gets some actual independence with like real people and can make something of herself. Where before she was in a guild of literal dead ghosts so this is her first chance to actually make friends and you know be truly independent so i'm i'm happy for her i'm excited unfortunate this is her first case should have gone with levy honestly would have probably been better going with team like urza is just like not it <laughs> you are gonna you are in it is in what is what is the saying is like 
in for a penny and uh, for a pound or whatever. It's that. It's that. So we'll see what happens with them. But we are going to continue on watching more fairy tale. It's all spooky. Please let this be a bad dream. No. Me. Just do it. trapped somewhere and it's just like a doppelganger? How's he different? He seems identical. Uh. Oh, oh no! Dodges. He took his clothes off! This guy is the real Grey after all! Are you kidding? <laughs> I was actually gonna say that. I was like, oh, well, maybe he had clothes. I'm starting to get bored. I'm ready to battle! I'm ready to battle! Yes, yes, that's how you do it. There's nothing quite like dinner on a good show. That's the genuine the genuine. I promise I'm not controlling his mind or anything cliche like that. I felt that irritating punch plenty. No fake Greg could ever hope to pull it off. You know, I had a feeling you would let me hit you so you could test it. Ooh. Ooh. That was a good one. Hey, You can win this. Those two are such barbarians. It's time for some answers. I want to know what the heck you think you're doing here. A city without sound. You're not making any sense, man. That's as plain as you're gonna get. Whatever, I doubt you'd understand it. A city without sound? Am I supposed to understand that? Cause I don't. Why would Gray betray his friends like this? Not that it's any of your business, but that handsome cloud of ice offered to help me on this special project. I first arrived in Magnolia about 10 days ago to continue my research. I was doing some digging into Natsu Dragon's background when I, when I ran into Gray Full Lester. He showed interest in my project and was very willing to lend his hand towards completing it. I just can't believe that. I knew there was something going on between you two. Maybe. Oh, yes! oh girl! Oh my god! Please, a lady never tells. Okay, so you and Gray are partners now, but what is this city without sound? We're not how about saying put one of a tamper chance flavors? No. Oh yeah, give me one of the fishy flavors. Happy dog! I don't need anything this lady gives you. Don't take shit from strangers! No, 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 If you're not gonna tell me what's going on, I guess I'll have to beat it out of you! They're late. He was asking someone about the dragon sighting. You think he found what he was looking for? Or he got tired of chasing rumors, got fed up, and called it a night. Normally I'd agree, but Natsu had Wendy with him. He would've brought her back. You still don't know what became of my attacker from earlier this afternoon. Or Gray. We should form a search party immediately. Gray's a big boy. He can take care of himself. You would like them to underestimate the intuition of a woman badly in love. Love makes you crazy, therefore you can't call her crazy. She's definitely got the mad bark down to a T. At least we're not drowning in her tears. I'm going to look for them. Just lead the way. I will accompany you as well. You're going to need Girl a squad. with you. No. Everyone squad! Remain on standby and guard the hall. Girl squad! Wait, can we grab Levy? Wait! Juvia's not coming? Oh. oh. I missed her. Ooh. Ooh. You're You're one to talk, you traitor. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Gray could put me in a cage any day. I mean, no, I really <laughs> you fell for it, moron. Don't tell Loki. <laughs> or Hibiki. Fire and ice just don't mix. And I'm not holding back anymore. Time to Ooh. Say, uh, I couldn't agree more. Bye. Oh, uh oh. Let's hurry. Okay. Okay. I know you won't agree, but the only way we can stop him is with my Sky Dragon magic. Using your magic in these type quarters could seriously injure someone. I'm flying back to town for reinforcement! Be back! Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah. Painful to witness. 
You're not wrong, Carla. It is a little painful. Like I said, escape is impossible. This lodge is my illusion, so if I want you to stay, you stay. This lodge hmm. isn't even real? It was created using my hidden cage spell. It may not look like much, but it fooled you, right? Wow, you're really strong, lady. Dang. Side, you won't have to call for reinforcements. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, we're up here! Hurry, Mom, do need your help! Aww. That inn should be right around here. Do you think we misheard the direction? Oh, no! Something's not right. Stay sharp. Clever girl. Smell as before. Oh, are they are they connected? Urza, what is that thing? That's what attacked me. I had a feeling it'd show up again. Drama. I didn't think they were connected. I thought we had separate plots. Huh. Lucy, I want you to stay behind me. You got it. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Were you the reason not so many others haven't come home? Can this person like copy magic or something? Oh, hello. You're like a little dragon, lizard man thing. Virgo! Virgo, it's been a while! Is there someone you'd like me to say for you, Prince? <clears throat> I look forward to being disciplined. <laughs> I love Virgo, it's so funny. <laughs> oh no. Have no fear, Princess. I will take care of this one. Oh, okay, thank you, honey. Oh. Is they using the same ability? Oh, they do. Okay, I was right then. They can't copy abilities. Oh. Huh. you did left any discipline or refined form of grace. Huh? I will happily instruct you in the proper form. Oh. Virgo will discipline you. As though he can increase his strength over time. Nice. Oh. like rise up there's no animation it's just burr. now you ask for it ah! i didn't realize guess who's back, back, back i'm kind of in a bind right now but i know you can help me out i never turn my back on a beautiful face i still owe you one for taking in aries and the others cute i'm glad we had the little dialogue oh it changed again so it'll be a tough nut to crack it's nice to have challenge Oh my god, I miss Loki. You got way stronger. I just figured out what it's doing. Imitation may be flattery, but what you're doing copying. has no style. Huh. How do we how do we beat them? Let me guess. Those lizard heads are working for you. What a smart kitty cat. I've got a menagerie of artificial playthings in my arsenal. Oh no. They must be golems then. Bingo! And those bad boys will tag team with a golem that matches the abilities of the opponent they're fighting. Oh. Magnolia has the best wizards around, so I'm taking the opportunity to gather data on them while Gray deals with the salamander. Oh, interesting. Be patient. The real show will start soon. Why spoil a surprise when I can unveil it in grand fashion? Oh, no. Of all the times we fought, this one's the best by far. Yeah, somehow you've always found a way to keep up with me. Look up, not too good. Right in the face, a little sucker punch. Time to finish this little game. It'll be my pleasure. So is Gray actually being taken control of, or does he have some ulterior motive? You love! Ooh. Damn. He certainly lives up to his reputation. Oh. <laughs> Impressive, dragon boy. All right, I'm glad we got that settled. Gray? What? You gotta be kidding! I didn't think I'd knock you out cold! Was he a golem as well? Hold on a sec. I didn't do more than that, did I? You'll never learn, will you? Yes, oh, yes, no. yes! I'll take it from here! Oh, no. <laughs> um, where's Natsu going? Yeah. Seems you're worthy of being my partner. Took a bit more work than I expected. No! your intention to harm him, you are luring him into the setup. He's strong, but I also use my brains. You are still <clears throat> alive? You just won because you cheated. Something that Natsu isn't capable of doing, using his brain. It took this much effort just to get the important part of my experiment in place. So trapping Natsu was your goal from the start. My research is finally complete. Now the fun begins. What is your research? When did you there? 
Testing, one, two, three! <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of dragon eggs. Dumbo! Igneal. I remember that egg. Wait a minute. A city without sound. Oh. The sound of my little surprise. Oh, what is your little surprise? Because it makes me deeply concerned. To work on your target. Ooh. Hey, Arthur! Oh, my girl! The fact that you can match my armor doesn't help you at all. Next time, use your own strength to fight your battles. Wow. What? This imitation crap is getting on my nerves, but I think we can use it to take this guy down. Yeah, and I know exactly what to do. Well, it's been fun regardless. Am I? Take care, beautiful. I should have figured. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hey, Blue. That's so cute. Just as I planned! You can do it! Aww. Okay. Good job, baby! Precious. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that is the face, yeah. Anything living that's not salamander, get away from my precious baby. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Firing up this bad boy with a salamander heart. Oh, he's at the heart of it. Uh okay. You know what it means. Yes, yes, yes! Like a newborn, it cries! The world's first artificially constructed dragon! The unstoppable dragon eye! And now Salamander's magic power is its life blood! Oh. I'm glad you're safe. We were so worried! We need to do something fast! First, you need to tell us what's going on. Where's Noctin? He's inside the big dragon! What's worse is he's not being manipulated. It's all on purpose. Kree's doing all of this of his own free will. Up there! Oh, hey, bud! I don't know what you're doing. Okay, so Gray has some ulterior motive going on here. I don't know if he's, like, maybe trying to technically help, like, not sue in some way. Maybe he's trying to, like, help him get information about Igneal. I don't really know, like, what's the vibe going on since this lady seems to have some idea about dragons. Maybe Grey thought it was worth the risk. I'm inclined to trust Grey that he has some, some, you know, motive here. But it is interesting. Daphne is weird. I, I, I love slash hate her. She's very odd, but I do kind of like her whole life. Well, hey there, sugar. Like, oh, try some much Samacon. Like, let's go. Like, if y'all watch my stuff, you know I love me. Like, the, like, Southern Belle characters. I just, like, I fall into the accent. I can't help it. It just feels so natural that it just starts rolling off the tongue. And I just can't. It's there. It happens. I don't know why. I have family from Alabama. Maybe it just comes and goes a little bit. Somehow it's just there. Even though we're not blood related, it's just there. <laughs> but yeah, so interesting. So I don't know. And now Natsu is all in the heart of the like, you know, dragon. That's weird. It's not a real dragon, obviously, but it is using Salamander. So very, very interesting. I, I'm very excited to kind of continue watching to see what is going on in this arc because it is weird. Definitely a weird one. But I, I, I can't say I dislike it yet. Like as of this point, I know we're only two episodes in. We still have like 
mm, I think there's at least five, five more episodes of this arc. I, I know we still have a long ways to go. It could all be goofy for not. I'm hoping Igneal comes to, no, sorry, not Igneal. Um, I get them, Gajiel and Igneal. I will forever get their names backwards. They're just very similar. I hope Gajiel comes to help out the team since he was like, oh, this is a bait, blah, 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 blah. But he kind of was like looking back in this episode, like maybe he'll come help as well. And maybe he's met Daphne before and like has done, you know, his own fair share of like wild goose chases and he'll be knowledgeable and help explain things to us. I don't know, but I'm hopeful. But overall, like it's not bad. I really like the interactions of uh, Happy and Carla in these episodes already. I think it's very fun. It's a lot of good laughs. Uh, especially because we don't have Juvia with us, which I was really hoping we get Juvia. I'm so sad she's not here. I missed her. Like I straight up and I feel bad. I straight up forgot about Juvia because we've just been gone for so long doing the Arashian say. So I completely forgot about Juvia. So I'm, I, I was so happy to see her and then just got like torn away from us, which is a real bummer. A real bummer indeed. But yeah, that it's it's weird. Uh, the lizard dragon things that can like copy abilities was interesting. Again, super thankful for the fact that we uh got a little bit of Loki. I live and die off of getting those little tiny bits of Loki. And I love the fact that we just got that quick little blurb of like, hey, you know, I owe you for taking in like um, Aries and all of them. I'll do my best. I really appreciate it. Like getting a little tidbit in there was really nice. I like that. And I love Virgo. So any chance we get like Virgo is always really nice too. Always very much appreciative. But yeah, uh, it's it's an interesting time. I, I'm trying to think of anything else I wanted to say. Uh, Yeah, I, just, I don't think Grace doing this for bad reasons. I like that we got the spirits kind of talking in Loki moment because it's just Loki, but also for the fact that we got that little moment of recognition. Wendy being here is interesting. I'm not sure her purpose exactly. Besides just having one more character who's a dragon slayer who got baited in and she will learn her lesson and not, you know, blindly run after any person who like mentions the dragon. That's my only like understanding of why she's here because she's not strong right now. I'm going to assume Wendy will get stronger, but right now she's, you know, so we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. Like, I don't mind Wendy. It's just a little like meh. Like what, what is the story reason of why she's here? And is it worth it type of thing? Not that if she came with us on every mission, I wouldn't mind. It's just one of those things of like, what's the purpose? Like where we could just say she's off with another team doing something and we don't need her around, you know? We'll see what happens. I don't know. But overall, like these two episodes were fine. Certainly not like my favorite by any means, but like they were fine. So we'll see what happens with the rest of the arc and how it goes and if it will, you know, just stay meh or take like a serious nosedive. I don't know. We'll find out together. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. Again, we will be watching two episodes throughout this season. Sorry, not season arc as we get through this. This <laughs> to hopefully get through it a little bit faster. So thank you guys so much. Again, if you like these videos, it really does help out the channel to hit that like button and use that little pinky finger to hit that subscribe button. That way I know you're super awesome and I'll see you all later. Bye!